And the central bankers are trying to bring in a new system, but it's not ready to go yet. Uh, it's really interesting to see. We have money market funds on Stellar, we have bonds. You have um, just U.S. dollar-backed assets, assets all over the world. We have, like, I think, 46 different assets in different parts of the world um, with the systems that you have. So I think it is sort of like the powerful piece of this technology, and it delivers a ton of value to consumers and to businesses all over. I think, importantly, it also helps with this technology from the business side because it actually um, creates an opportunity for the technology that's open and it's public. So they're trying to lengthen the dollar system, and then they're trying to accelerate bringing in the new system. So uh, I describe the new system as the end of currencies. Uh, away from descriptive and, and start talking about some of my criticisms of this, because um, um, no, I, I do think that this is just a, a travesty, really. I mean, I just, I just want to point out that all these layer twos that Ryan is referring to, like if we just look at the top 15 alone, they're all centralized. And then it was in September and October of 2021 when we were throwing out yeah. 25,000, 37.5 coins. It's so it would be a higher price than the previous higher, prediction. Probably in the 50,000. Know what you hold? Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got a baggie, welcome to the party. Welcome back to S'more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast, no coffee. Just straight extra, extra. Foolishness. Shout out to the latest. Uh, appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead, throw on those moon suits. Throw on those pilot shades. And buckle up, because the future's extra, extra. Bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 2.11 trillion, down about 1.7% in the past 24. We got XRP currently right around 53, 54 cents. Stellar XL in right around 9 cents. We got BTC 57,597. ETH right around 23 hundo. We got Flare Networks right around 0 0.014. Axelar 50 cents. XDC right around 2.5 cents. Songbird 007. Stronghold double zero four four. We got Zahal right around 0 0.029. Evernote right around 0 0.076. Jewel token right around six cents. We got one from Repo to pop things off. Day two of you reconnecting full swing today. We heard from experts on blockchain interoperability, decentralization, and governance around DAOs, the cost of privacy and crypto, and more. All from our incredible academic partners. Learn more about the university blockchain research initiatives and you reconnect Ripple XRP. Learn more about the University Blockchain Research Initiative and Ubri Connect, Ripple, XRP. We got one from Uphold, XRP powers fast, low-cost cross-border payments through the decentralized XRP ledger. Ripple is a technology company responsible for RippleNet, a modern network designed for financial transactions. The XRP ledger is an open-source decentralized blockchain technology that supports the entire infrastructure for XRP. XRP was created in 2014, a digital asset and the native currency of the XRP ledger. XRP serves as a facilitator of cross-border payments and other financial transactions. We got 801 XRP, Stellar Org CEO Daniel Dixon on the industry's biggest uptake for tokenization in the next five years. Going between now and the next five years, where is the biggest focus of uptake for tokenization? Well, I think everything is being tokenized. I think it's uh, it's really interesting to see. We have money market funds on Stellar. We have bonds. You have um, just U.S. dollar-backed assets, assets all over the world. We have, like I think, 46 different assets in different parts of the world. And I think tokenization is going to move to, you got to tokenize um, bank deposits. You can tokenize just like the you're like the ledger that you have internally, you don't even need to issue like a stable coin or an asset. You can just tokenize your ledger and put that on to make it work really seamlessly um, with the systems that you have. So I think it is sort of like the powerful piece of this technology and it delivers a ton of value to consumers and to businesses all over. I think importantly, it also helps with this technology from the business side because it actually um, creates an opportunity for the technology that's open and it's public to improve over time so you're not sort of stuck in this notion of dealing with antiquated software, which I think is amazing for businesses that are doing it. We have one from Bitcoin Magazine. Meanwhile, Justin, UK Parliament introduces bill to recognize Bitcoin as personal property. We have Black Swan Capitalist, former Goldman Sachs executive, says central banks are dragging the dollar just long enough to bring in a new system that consolidates all the world's money. It's obvious this is about Ripple and XRP while Bitcoin is marketed to the masses 
as a distraction? For many decades, the dollar has been the reserve currency. And uh, the system is what I would describe as long in the tooth. And the central bankers are trying to bring in a new system, but it's not ready to go yet. And what we're, what we're in a period of great change and uncertainty where the central bankers are trying to keep the dollar system going and accelerate. So they're trying to lengthen the dollar system and then they're trying to accelerate bringing in the new system. So uh, I describe the new system as the end of currencies. So it's we're not bringing in a new currency. We're essentially bringing in a new transaction system that will be all digital and essentially in currencies as we know them. So what they're trying to do is involves essentially all the money on the planet. So it's big, it's complicated, it's messy. That Jack the Rippler, the digital euro is being tested on the XRP private ledger. Deborah Schwartz, the XRP price on the private ledger will be reflected on the public ledger once everything is fully tested. XRP. We got one from Smoke Dog. XRP equals no speculative bubble. BTC equals speculative bubble. BTC and ETH have been in a speculative bubble fueled by significant manipulation and elusive centralized tactics since 2017. However, due to its technological security, XRP lacks a speculative value bubble. This confirms that XRP price cannot be manipulated by the same hype tactics driving much of the crypto market. XRP value is rooted in its utility. The rise of XRP price will be driven by organic growth and network usage. Detected bubble in Bitcoin and ETH while no bubble was detected in XRP. Meanwhile, Tether recorded more profit than BlackRock in 2023, Tether posted $6.2 billion in profits last year, surpassing BlackRock's $5.5 billion. We got one from Zaman. The final step of our rebranding journey is now finished. We fully transitioned to Zaman.app and retired the old Zum.app homepage. The transition was necessary due to a potential legal issue with another major fintech company. We got one from Stellar. We're excited to announce that Bumebit now supports USDC on the Stellar network. Bumebit customers can enjoy faster and cheaper transactions using USDC on Stellar. We got Justin Bonds. Ethereum is doomed as it sold out its cypherpunk roots for L2 equity and tokens. There is no good excuse for keeping ETH at 100 transactions per second with 13 second block times. It is pathetic. Scalable layer ones are more decentralized, secure, cheaper, faster, and easier to use. ETH is down bad while layer twos are ripping. L2s are parasitic to Ethereum. Um, sure, but I'm, I'll move a bit more uh, away from descriptive and, and start talking about some of my criticisms of this because, um, um, no, I, I do think that this is just a, a travesty, really. I mean, I just, I just want to point out that all these layer twos that Ryan is referring to, like if we just look at the top 15 alone, they're all centralized, right? So like what is a layer two scaling roadmap? I think it's just not scaling the layer one. And, and I have a real problem with just not scaling the layer one at all and allowing these kind of private for, you know, for profit, you know, rent seeking L2s to basically, you know, take all of the Ethereum users away. I think, I think that is really disgusting. And I think that's really a betrayal of the cypherpunk dream. I mean, that's that's where we are today. Yeah, but just from like a, a technical perspective, like what activity is happening on the layer twos and what activity is happening on the layer one? Right, right. So the layer one um, capacity is obviously very low. So the idea behind Ethereum's uh, layer two roadmap to now steel man the argument is that uh, basically almost all of the usage is going to move to layer twos. That's the idea. If you do ex execution is moving to layer twos, that means smart contracts, that means apps, that means value transfer, that means basically everything is, is basically being pushed to layer twos by the economics of the layer one basically becoming unusable and, and too expensive. And uh, basically, it as part of the Ding Kun upgrade, and this was uh, known as data, sh also known as data sharding. This is where L2s are able to post um, uh, data on the uh, layer one, and uh, they pay a small fee to the layer one for that, and that fee only represents a tiny fraction of the total fees these layer twos are collecting that are just going directly into their wallets. And in this sense, I actually think that, you know, this configuration is highly extractive and, you know, as you said, parasitical. Yeah, oldie but goodie, Val Hill predicts 50K XRP. What do you guys think down below? Is XRP double digits, triple digits? Four digits still in play. Global tax deals happening. We got global deals on principles for how they're going to, you know, interact among each other with central bank digital currencies. 
and people really believe they couldn't come up with a price set yeah. for XRP, that's like not yeah. even hard to that, think there's about. There's no logic there. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Same. yeah. It's so um, if, if they do that, we believe the value would be higher than it was in September and October of 2021 when we were throwing out yeah. 25,000, 37.5 coin. It's so it would be a higher price than lot the previous higher, prediction. Probably in the 50,000 now, I would think. We haven't brought the numbers down, but I'm just thinking about all the um, the additional trillions of dollars that got pumped in uh, to the economy. The debt, yes. The, uh, the, the fact, you know, the, the Fed right now is really our, the only participant in our economy. They're, yeah, they're basically sense. issuing all the money that's going into the, the big banks and then the commercial big banks are selling and the hedge funds are selling their crap fucking debt. Yeah. Sorry, can I yeah, ask something? Yeah, absolutely. Go please, ahead. Please. They're please. selling their crap <laughs> all debt the time. back to the Fed and the balance sheets yeah. going parabolic. Yeah. Santa Mefi cryptocurrency while transactions have seen an notable drop off since mid August. Bitcoin minus 33.6%, ETH minus 72.5%. This isn't necessarily a bearish signal while it can be equally active during a bull or bear market, but this does indicate that large key stakeholders continue to bid their time as they wait to make their next move during times of extreme crowd greed or extreme fear. The crowd has been very reactive to the mid-size swing since BTC's all-time high six months ago. Based on sentiment patterns, a return to 70k would likely come with major crowd FOMO, and 45k will likely lead to major FUD. We got Mikey Bull Crypto altcoins, the calm before. The blast. Keep it simple. Sentiment fee. Bitcoin has reached as high as 58k today with sentiment among retail traders beginning to look a bit more positive. Wallace with less than one BTC now hold their highest ratio of supply in seven months. However, an ideal setup for crypto to rebound back to all-time high levels would involve less than one BTC holders dropping, one to 100 BTC holders steadily growing, 100 plus BTC holders aggressively accumulating. We got mustache all coins. Retest of the neckline is currently taking place. You're not bullish enough and we got crypto bull 2020 the xrp chart based on the previous cycles predicts 227 this bull run the longer they take the higher we climb on that xrp richless where are those bags be when that regulation jar of molasses finally breaks open an xrp's true price is finally revealed Raider glitches done just having some fun just getting started the flip of the switch and you thought you could short it burning the escrow now there's been a shortage so many digits now you can't afford it we up in the sky price jumping like jordan can't have enough bags all we did was hoard it we saw we saw you probably sell a few organs so many accounts threw away all my ledgers we hold the keys we hold the treasures get off them exchanges in byob surf on the waves don't get caught in the weeds and we finally blow we financially free we throw in a party we wake in the sheep we all go and ghosts of the islands we feed we cannot die we all energy hey